What's going on YouTube? In this tutorial, I just want to talk about the line s function in Microsoft Excel, which is a great function that you can use to do basic linear regression analysis of the data that you're working with in Excel. And you can also have the function return additional um, pieces of information that's highlighted right here. But watch the end so you can see how to do that. So basically, the line s function will just return a linear equation that will best fit the data that you're passing into it. To use this function, you can do equals line s, open parentheses, open parentheses, and the first argument is your known y values, which is this information right here. And then comma, the next argument, which is the first, which is, as you can see, optional by how it is in brackets, but it's your known x's, which is this information right here. And then comma, this is the third argument, which allows you to have the y value set to zero or you can have it calculated normally where it defaults to having it the intercept be set to zero and then the last argument allows you to have the option to return additional statistics or not you can have it true to return additional statistics or you can have false to not return additional statistics where it re re defaults to being false you're not returning additional statistics so only passing the known y's and known x's so you can get a linear equation for data as you can see, here we have the slope, and here we have the intercept of the data that we're working with. But what if we wanted the um, intercepts to be set to zero? We can type in true right here for the third argument. Sorry, my bad, false for the third argument. And then as you can see, the intercept is set to zero. Now, what if we just wanted to have it calculated um, like normally? and we wanted to return additional statistics. We can type in true right here, this argument. As you can see, we get the slope in the intercepts like we did originally. We also, also get a lot of additional information as well. So you get the standard error of the slope, standard error of the intercepts, the R, R squared value, the standard error of Y, your S, your S statistics, your degrees of freedom, your, your, um, your your sum of square for regression analysis and your sum of square for residual um, in case if you need those, those statistics. And you can also nest in, inside of a round function. As you can see, there are a lot of decimals. So I just wanted to round this to two digits so this will look a bit cleaner. And there you have it. Now it looks a little better with the colon cup decimals. Um, that said, I hope you found this to be helpful. And if you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.